If you're annoyed that you can't skip wait time on GeForce Now, I will show you exactly how to do that right today. So basically what you're going to want to do is log out of your account that you're logged into right now. And I know this may seem a bit weird, but trust me, that's what you have to do. And then press log out. And then what you want to do is press that button right down there, which I just pressed. After you've done this, you'll be redirected to the NVIDIA page. When you are here, you're going to see a black screen for a bit. But when you are here, just go to the top right and then press login. I know this may seem a bit weird, but just carry on. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to make a new account. So I'm just going to press login with Google, login with my account. And here you go. I've logged in with my account. And then when you're here, just tick any box that you want to tick. If you want to, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to continue as normal. And when you are here, you're going to see the NVIDIA page once again. After this, we'll just wait for it to load, wait for it to load. And as you can see in the top right, I've got my new account, which I just made right now. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is press connect your store accounts. And then when you are here, you're going to want to connect what you're going to play. So if you're going to play Rocket League, let's say, you're going to do Epic Games. If you want to do something else, do Steam or whatever you're going to do. And yeah, basically just do that. I'm just going to log into my Epic right now. And here you go, I've logged into my Epic Games account right now. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is when you're here, just close that tab out, come back here, and then go to games. And then you're just going to want to find the game that you're going to want to play. And I'm just going to press Fortnite for now because I've logged in my Epic Games. Press play, and it will say this. You're just going to want to press that green button right there. And then when you load, what you're going to want to do is scroll down a little bit. So just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see this like section, cloud gaming on all devices. Press play now. When you are here, choose a membership. I'm going to choose a free one because I don't really want to spend money every single time I'm on a new account. And then it will load and then you just press continue to the account you were just on. When you are here, you'll be redirected here. And then you're just going to want to press launch on whatever you are on. I'm going to press Chrome as I'm on a Chrome device. The next thing you're going to want to do is just wait, 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 wait. And then you're going to want to go back down to the game that you just wanted to play. For example, mine's going to be Fortnite again. You're going to press it and then you're going to press play. And then as you can see, I'm loading in and it will take a little bit to load, but it shouldn't take the longest. And as you can see, it's loading. It shouldn't take this long normally, but for some reason it is. And then as you can see, it's loading connecting beta beta and as you can see there's two people in front of me normally this will be a hundred as right now there's so many people playing there's not maybe even 300 400 but if you want to make it even faster i'm going to show you that right now so just go to here settings and then go to the server location i'm just going to put my server that i'm on right now but what you should do is find a server where there's not that much people but i'm just going to do eu west which is my server normally and then go to games and then what i'm going to do is press play and then when i'm here it will say around the same like three four but if you want to make it the fastest maybe log in even straight away what you're going to want to do is find the server where you think there won't be that many people so go here settings and then go back to the server location and then you're going to want to change it to something like i don't know somewhere on the opposite side of the world so the time zones will be very different, like night time for them, or they're probably all sleeping, so there won't be that much people. And yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, the wait times are very short. It'll take like five, a minute probably maximum. And then after you'll log into the game and do whatever you want to do.